And today, many came out to give thanks at the National Day of Prayer and Thanksgiving, hosted by the government at the Queen's Park, Savannah. This is the second year that the government is celebrating Trinidad and Tobago's Republican status with prayer and thanksgiving. Religious leaders from various faiths had one thing in common, the offering of blessings to the nation as it celebrates 40 years as a republic. Mahela Joseph tells us more. During the National Day of Prayer, leaders of various religious groups prayed for the development of Trinidad and Tobago. Forty years ago, we decided to forge our own path and to be responsible for ourselves. May we live that responsibility to the full each and every day. As we celebrate this significant day, O Bhagwan, bless us that we may stand united as loyal citizens of our country, moving forward and upward. Thank you, Lord, for the work of our Prime Minister, Dr. the Honorable Keith Rowley. Thank you, Lord, for the functioning of the opposition leader, Honorable Kamala Passad Bissessa. Help them, I pray today, to work together for the financial stability of our country. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam tabarakta rabbana wa ta'alayta ya dhal jalali wal ikram We believe that you have healed our land, Lord. We thank you in anticipation and all the people say amen in the name of jesus some saw the day of prayer as a necessity and others thought we had a lot to be thankful for including minister of works and transport fitzgerald hines and this morning the nation was called to prayer by the prime minister the reception was great and really god would be pleased at this the nation has had its rough times its bumps its sharp turns but by and large we are on a path to success and to victory and this morning would have taken us further along that line Give some are of the view that trinidad and tobago is at a stage where the country must come together in the midst of all that's going on we can look at the negatives and be so hard on ourselves but we need to step back and look at the good things that God has done for us. And while there are issues to be resolved, I think coming out of today, the, the message for me is that there's still a lot to be thankful for. Even though I came a bit late, I enjoyed all what I you know, was blessed to see, and I'm always willing to come to anything that has any praises and worship with the Lord. The day filled of praise and worship was welcomed by all who attended. Mahalia Joseph, C News.